A homemade gun hot off the printer. It's a reality now that 3D printers are gaining in popularity and dropping in price. A Canadian man has successfully printed off a working rifle, and he promises he'll share the blueprint online. As the technology becomes more accessible, authorities are scrambling to put in safeguards before the guns end up in the wrong hands. Crystal Gamansing reports. The gun being fired is homemade, non-metal, and produced on a printer. Global News spoke with the creator via email recently. He asked to use only his first name, Matt. He says once the current version works properly, I plan to release the plans on the internet. Since that email, he posted another video. The barrel eventually breaks, but the gun fires multiple times. We asked for another interview with Matt, but he declined. Within another year or two, it, it, the world is going to change, and a truly effective, and, and, and I'll use the word more appropriately, deadly weapon could be produced. Michael Legary is a part of a Manitoba organization helping and small and startup businesses. Part of that help comes in the form of access to 3D printers. Anything can be scanned and then layer by layer produced. Weapons? are printed the exact same way and have been for a number of years. Cody Wilson has been at the forefront of this revolution. The American is known for the Liberator. He puts his designs online to be downloaded. Access to these printers isn't a problem. In the U.S., UPS has them in their stores for public use. Legary says soon the printers could be programmed not to make certain items or to alert officials. Liability is something people need to think about. He says the printers are cheap enough now to be in homes, schools and offices. When the prints are complete, we'll monitor to see was it completed, um, what was the final production design that was produced. Canadian law is clear. It is illegal to manufacture or possess a firearm, metal or otherwise, without appropriate licenses. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Winnipeg.